so, right? So my fingers at the bottom are essentially overlapping like this, right? Coming through on the front side, keeping my elbows in close to the body, slight bend forward, and I'm keeping the top of this nice and parallel with the ground. Come up to the top. Nice dip, squeeze and burn at the top. The other part of it is, you know, I've, I've curled 150 pounds before on that. So I'm keeping my back extremely stiff, right? Everything is coming from the bicep. You know, 150 pounds looks a little bit more like this. Looks a little bit more, more like I'm trying to do a granny shot for basketball, right? Or a grandpa shot, whatever it is. You know, I'm not trying to do basketball here. I'm trying to work the bicep, right? So with everything, you want to have good control. So everything, you know, you're a tin man. The only thing that's moving is those biceps, right? Or your wrist coming towards your shoulder. So we're starting off with the barbell, right? So everything's equal distance. We're going to hit both sides of the bicep equally. You have your inner head and you have your outer head, right? So if you're a little bit wider, we're going to be hitting the inner head of the bicep. If your hands are in close, we're going to be hitting the outside. So we're going to hit equidistant, and then it's always easier to come inside of the shoulders than it is to go outside. So we're, we're going in progression, but we're coming in close, making it a little bit easier while keeping the intensity high. So. That's kind of our muscle building part. Again, if you have a T-Rex, that's where we're heading next. We're gonna make sure we're getting a fully contracted bicep by coming up past the head. 